All right, Ryan, welcome back to the Lotte Championship as we were just talking about your 12th appearance in the 12th edition. Um, an outstanding second round here to get you in contention. Just overall, how do you assess your second day? Uh, you know, it was very steady. Um, I felt very comfortable out there. Uh, I like windy conditions. Um, so, and I think after playing in Malaysia a couple weeks ago, I have really figured out the grain again. It was like a nice little practice run for being out here. So, uh, you know, I was reading putts well, putts were rolling good. Um, so nothing to complain about. You say you like windy conditions, why? Uh, I just feel like half the field freaks out. Um, but I like being able to picture shots, you know, like aiming in one spot and just letting the wind take it. Uh, I think it creates or allows for more creativity. Um, I can hit a lower shot. I can take spin off a ball. Uh, I just feel like I enjoy having that extra element of like, okay, wait, you know, it's not just aim it here. It's like, oh, I got to aim it here and then watch it really, you know, end up over here. So I just think it really takes a lot more thought. Um, and I find that fun. But, I mean, there's days, trust me, that the wind kicks my butt. So, <laughs> who knows? But just being in Hawaii, we were just talking about it being your 12th. You've been in every edition of the Lotte Championship. I love it here. About. How much do you enjoy Hawaii? And what is it about this place that, you know, you're being able to be strengthened by the environment around you? I don't know. I just love Hawaii. I love coming here. Um, it's always my happy place. Uh, anywhere that's surrounded by ocean, I don't think I can, anybody should complain about. But <laughs> just the vibe here, the people here, um, the surf culture. I always joke that if I ever wanted to run away from life, I'd run here and, you know, make a coffee shop or sell beach chairs. So <laughs> <laughs> I actually love that. Um, in general, is it nice to be in kind of par without saying it's paradise basically paradise when knowing there's only a few events left and kind of that aim to to be as high as you can be in the race to see me globe uh yes it is it's uh you know it's one of those like it's a relaxing week you know the the year's gone it's long uh, especially after the asia swing it becomes really tough um so it's nice to go home for a week and then come out here uh we had that little rain delay for the pro-am and then i said we were canceled and i said okay i'm taking the day off so I did. I took the day off. I went uh, to Waikiki, then went over to the North Shore and just enjoyed the, the weather and um, the scenery and just allowed myself to kind of, I felt like more of just mentally get ready. I didn't feel like I needed to grind over anything. So I think I did okay. You've played well at this course before. I believe you've had a T6 finish in yeah. two years ago. What do you like most about this course? Uh, I think it's very fair um, as far as like when the wind picks up, it doesn't play funky, like it plays to the wind. Um, I think it is, there's some challenging holes, but for the most part, like it's just, it's right in front of you um, and you always expect the wind to pick up. So I know the next two days are going to be blowing like this. Uh, I was joking because on Tuesday it was not windy at all. And I thought that was funny. Um, so I just know... I don't know. I like this course. I like the way it looks. I like the setup of it. It's a pretty golf course. They have it in great shape, so they've done well. Um, I don't. Other than that, I'll just hopefully go and have fun the next two days. Perfect. Well, thank you, Ryan. Yeah.